What's the next big state for you? What, online is, is I, I would like to be able, now I'm, I'm hearing, I go to vacation in Georgia a lot, and I'm hearing maybe Georgia, which would make it more fun for me down there if I could uh, be interested in sports while I'm down there. Right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're now live in three states, Joe. So we're in Pennsylvania, Michigan. We just launched in Illinois before March Madness, and it's been bonkers in Illinois for us because that's where Big Cat's from. At Barstool, we've had a great first four or five days since March Madness started. And to your point, there's a lot of states in the queue. We're going to be live in Indiana, hopefully by the end of April. Be live in New Jersey, which will make it easier for you, Joe, to bet with us uh, probably by the end of May. And then another slew of three or four states probably by the start of football season. And those are just the states that have already legalized past legislation. There's a number of states, to your point, like Georgia, Ohio, Massachusetts, Maine, that are currently contemplating, Kansas, that are currently contemplating legalizing sports betting, both retail and mobile. So we'll see how it goes, but there's a lot of momentum in the space right now. Would you, so how many cylinders, what, what, what is PIN? Is it a, is it a V8, is it a V12? And, and how many are going, and, and what are, a couple of them are, I mean, obviously casinos are still a little bit tough, but improving? Yeah, improving a lot. Um, I think that you know what we're seeing right now in the business, Joe, is uh, revenues and volumes that I haven't seen in years. The, the month of March has been incredible. And so as vaccines are being distributed, remember when we first reopened our properties at late spring, early summer in last year, 2020, after the closures, we saw a really high spend per visit when people came, but the visitation was still way down year over year because those that were 60 plus years old weren't coming back. What we're seeing now is that the spend per visit is still much higher than it was pre-COVID, but visitation levels now in the month of March look a lot like they did in 2019. So you have those two things working together. And like I said, we had one of the biggest weekends this last weekend that we've seen in years. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.